Hey everybody, this is Chuck from No Place Left and today we're going to continue our series on coaching and we're going to talk about the three pillars of instruction. Okay, so we when we start instructing people through our coaching, we want to make sure that several things are in place. And I talked about three pillars, but there's something that those three pillars rest on. So let's start with that. The first thing that we have is a foundation. And that foundation is Jesus and Jesus only. So let's take a look at 1 Corinthians 3, 10 through 11. It says, according to the grace of God, which was given to me like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation and another is building on it, but each man must be careful how he builds on it. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So the foundation of everything that we're doing is Jesus, and we need to remember that. So the next part is very akin to the foundation. Right on top of that is another layer of authority, and it is the Holy Spirit. And in John 16, it says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will disclose to you what is to come. Now, that's not just the future. The Holy Spirit is very much in the business of being a major part of our instruction. And if he's not, we kind of need to check ourselves. So when we look at the foundation, it's built on the person of Jesus Christ and the revelation that he gives us through the Spirit. And now come the three pillars. And you're, you're wondering, okay, where does the Bible fit? That's the first pillar. So as we look at this, the first pillar is that our instruction needs to be biblical. I think of uh, Matthew 4.4. 4. This is one of my favorite verses on the Word of God because Jesus says this as he's answering Satan in his temptation. He says, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So the scriptures are so important to Jesus that he counts them just as important as his very food in Matthew 4, 4. So here, this is one of the pillars for our instruction. It must be biblical. Second pillar. Not only does it need to be biblical, but it also needs to be simple. And when we look at Jesus' ministry, when he spoke, a lot of times it was so simple, it may have offended the intelligent. For instance, in Mark 4, 1 through 20, Jesus shares a very simple story of a sower going out and sowing seed and then seeing that it lands in four different types of soil and which one produces fruit. A very simple story, and yet very potent. And so what we want to do is make sure that our instruction is very simple. And then the third pillar is reproducing. Now, there's a big difference between reproducing and reproduction. See, we can reproduce a lot of things, but we have to ask ourselves the question, is it reproducing? If our instruction can be reproduced, but it takes a seminary degree to do it, not a knock on seminary, but your average person is not going to be able to do that. 
So our instruction needs to be reproducing. It has stood the test through multiple generations of being passed on to others. Our instruction needs to be reproducing, and very intentionally so. In other words, when we instruct people, we're telling them, we want you to take this very tool and reproduce it with disciples downstream. Okay, so what stands on this foundation and the three pillars? Well, that's the second part of coaching. It is application. And so what the ultimate end of our instruction is, is that we actually do what we instructed people to do or what we've been instructed to do. So application is the aim. That's where life transformation happens. Okay, so the foundation is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit with the three pillars of biblical, simple, and reproducing, which leads to application. So here's an application for you. I want you to take your napkin that you drew on and notice it's a napkin. I stole this uh, out of Carter Cox's playbook, No Place Left on a Napkin. And I want you to go and share the three pillars of instruction with somebody else. That is your assignment. Okay, I hope that's helpful. And until next time, keep making disciples until there's no place left. Thank you.